Hello, right, here I am all in black. Oh, the light in here. Sorry, looking at the wrong place. The light in here is awful. But I think you'll get the gist. I'm wearing black because I'm going to go through my wardrobe quickly. Um, I wish I could try on all the outfits, but I haven't got the energy and I haven't got time. And you've seen most of them anyway. So I thought... Declutter. I declutter about four or five times a year, so I'm really good at it. And the rule is that I learned from an actual couple of declutterers. The rule is, and that's going elsewhere, do I really love it? Do I look great in it? Have I worn it in the last two years? And should I keep it because of my work? Because I do need different tops to work with brands over on Instagram. So there's going to be the, I'm going to get it down to a really tight capsule wardrobe. You know I live in workout gear most of the time anyway, especially now. How's that tummy? Very, very upset today. Um, so I'm going to go through everything and see what you think. This is my coats cupboard. I will come and film them close up when I'm not yakking to the screen. Um, right, okay, I, I'm not going to show you all the ones I love. I'm going to just show you the ones that I'm happy to let go of. I have two denim jackets. Do we need two denim jackets? I ask myself and you. I think I've worn this one far more. Hmm, tricky one. I'll leave you to tell me what you think. Two leather jacket. I'm just thinking of, you know I'm going to downsize once Jack, Jackie boy has left us mortal earth. Um, so I don't want to take masses and masses and masses of stuff um, that I never wear. I do wear, I think both those um, jackets those denim jackets from time to time of course there's always storage isn't there now do i really need this i ask you it's beautiful i haven't worn it yet and it's freezing maybe to the theater if it's cold and snowing i mean it is oh, sorry that's why i'm wearing black so you can see everything i hold against me um it's rather nice isn't it but very bulky takes up a huge amount of space. What do you think? I think if I haven't worn it this winter, but it seems exceptionally cold, then I might have to let it go. Or the other answer, of course, is to get vacuum packed um, bags and stick it under the bed. Wherever I go, I'm going to need storage. I know that much. Uh, right, nothing in here. This is all jackets and max but i love every single one of them and i've worn every single one of them in the last year oh this one i don't know what that's doing around it um it's just got a nice little, little 60s vibe hasn't it so that's the other thing charity bag to pass on um Pre-loved, sell them. Another bag for that. And final bag is hang on till I've made up my mind. <laughs> so nothing going there, although I have already taken two coats out of there that I never wear. Um, it's just storage. It's such a problem, right? We're not going to look at summer. We're definitely keeping a sparkly dress forever, aren't we? Love that. Um, right, well, there's very little in here. I keep keeping these fab dungarees. I can wear those in the winter with a black top underneath. Um, that is the most beautiful black dress. Um, I'm waiting for the right opportunity but that's not going. Now, the main job today is to turn everything into outfits. So the one that you saw last week, the retro top, we'll come to that with the brown trousers, 
if I could get better brown trousers, that is an outfit that I don't actually want to change at all. That's the silver. We love that, don't we? So that's an outfit. I'm trying to put everything in outfits. Um, I think that's a keeper. They got a lot of love on Instagram. Thick tights, big boots. That's a keeper. Very expensive dress that I still wear. And it's good for winter. And that's a keeper, because you loved that both together, didn't you? Fancy skirt. So those are fab outfits for going away and making a bit of effort. Right, okay, now not sure about this one at all. It is LK Bennett. I just don't feel fabulous in it and it's very thin. So should we put that as a maybe baby? Because I might find something wonderful when I go shopping. I'm dying to go shopping, as you know. The rate I'm going with trying to find the dog sitter, so I don't want a stranger in my house. Um, so, you know, it might have to wait the London shop and all be local. Right, all of these, can you see? All of these are, and again, they could be vacuum packed. Uh, uh, maybe I'll need one of these to wear for a brand. I love matching brands to my clothes. That's a vintage, I can't quite let go of it. That gold one, I don't really like anymore, but I'm hanging on to them just in case. Um, and things that crease really badly if you sit in them all day. So that creases, that creases. So that's a very much not sure. Shall we put that one in the not sure? That's very much the, the shoots and not sure. You see, it does, it's not taking up that much space, is it? The not sure. We love this, don't we? With the, oh, it's in the wash, but with the retro that I wore last week with the brown pants. We love this as an outfit, sparkly trousers, sparkly top that I wore for Christmas, so that's staying. Um, this I love wearing in places like Spain and Portugal in spring or autumn for traveling in. It's very bling bling, but it's quite handy because the jacket can be worn separately and so can the jogging pants and it's very comfortable. So that's a keeper. And I've worn this leather skirt with the fab gold boots a hundred different ways and what seems to be the best outfit of them all are these two together. So I'm not even going to bother, unless I'm staying in London and wearing the skirt, I'm not gonna be changing the top. I think that's a fabulous outfit. So there you go. Um, this is sad. This is very sad. I have never worn this as a trouser suit. So last, you've seen these at the festival, is fab. Very 70s inspired flared pants. And I think I've worn the top on its own, tucked into big jeans. But um, I've not worn it as a trouser suit. I'm waiting for a spring event in London. If it doesn't get worn in 2024, it's out. Um, here's another fabulous outfit that I've actually been stopped in the streets about. These are the very baggy jeans, shall I show you? I hope this is giving you some ideas rather than me just being self-indulgent. So I was accused of being self-indulgent by some fewer. Right, baggy trousers and this tucked in. I'll try and find stills if I can, but this tucked in, oh, let's put it on. Baggy trousers. These two together with the right jacket and the right sunnies looks absolutely fabulous. So that's an outfit. Casual, obviously. Very much a Brighton look. This I haven't worn yet, but I'm sure I will in the spring. That is lovely. 
with the right thing. I might try that on for you another day. Back to France. Look at that lovely 50s vibe with that little jacket and the right trousers. So I think I should put cream beige trousers on. Now these are fabulous trousers, but again, very little has gone with them, but we'll give that another try in the spring. And what I did dig out was this very 50 style blouse that I never wear, but I think that would look rather fabulous with these trousers. As would this top with these trousers. So we'll give that a go. I think I, I desperately need more trousers and get into beigey things. And that's just a slobby one, but a very smart slobby one. Ah, now I haven't worn this yet. I've tried this on a hundred times with winter outfits. It's not, it's not going with anything that makes me feel really good. So, um, I think that might be a maybe. Where should I put it? I shall put it in the try on place. Style it up. So that's a style it up pegs. Um, and that's about it. These are all tops. Oh yes, that one. That one was very expensive from Rixo. I've never had a compliment when I've been wearing it, apart from, from you. And I think we decided the only thing it looked really fab with was the black, this outfit again. So that would be good for London. Oh, Jack, please don't. I think it's the dementia. It's just getting worse with the barking. With the floaty skirt and the big boots. So, um, keep, keep. I tried it with the leather skirts. Not mad about it, tried it with jeans. Oh, I have got those very smart trousers now. So maybe that's a try on with the smart trousers. Yeah. I'm going to put those there to try on with other things. But this really, this top didn't go with anything else in my wardrobe. Isn't that interesting? So I'm very much for total outfits. Makes it much, much quicker to get ready in the morning as well. I'll put that there, that's an outfit. So it depends on the, the length, which wardrobe they go in. Oh, I'd love a dressing room. I'm going to manifest a proper dressing room. Um, again, this one, woo, how bright is that? Can't find anything that really goes with it. That might have to be in the dressing up box. Um, this one, that should, that actually does go really well with the leather skirt, I think, don't you? Um, so that would be another alternative top for London. So I might put that with these. Because I wore it the other day with black, but it just didn't look fabulous. Right, these are, this I haven't found anything that looks really great with it. So we'll put that on the try on rail. You see, that would give me something to do for next week's vlog. Um, this is ancient. It's from River Island, same as the pink one. See, I used to do this as a youngster. Do you remember all those leggings and things in Floral Street in Covent Garden? Um, and we all got into that dressing in um, leggings and leg warmers and very bright colours. Well, I used to have this awful addiction to buying everything, you know, all the colours in one thing. You never like them all, and that's the proof. That pink one's hardly been worn. This navy blue one I have lived in. It really suits me, and I always get comments. Isn't that interesting? This one, again, I can't remember what it goes with, but I think it's only one pair of jeans again. So that's another one to try on. And if they don't go with anything, they're going to be sold. Mm. This one I've only hung on to because it's from Topshop Vintage from many years ago. So it's like, I love it. That one I was gifted and it went viral on Instagram with those baggy jeans. So I'm staying on with that one. This one, I don't know why I bought it now because 
it's lovely but it's terribly thin um and it's very like the other one that's in the wash and again this one i'm going to keep these till spring and then we'll have another clear out um this one i hardly ever wear but it's great with black i should try these with the black shouldn't i let's try all all of the ones i'm not sure of with the new trousers and other stuff um this one i love it's my favorite 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 jacket in the world from australia that one actually this adidas one is lovely i think i'm going to resell that because i have that vintage shop hello jack that vintage shop in brighton might snap this up i'm finding the um zip difficult it's i only bought it because it was adidas vintage but i much prefer this one and who needs two not me so that i can release that's one thing all this work and i've only released one thing possibly with a few more to go those are my lovely never getting rid of these they look so vintage i wish you could see the bottom they're quite wide-legged and this lovely girl in French Connection years ago said, oh, if you like vintage style, try these. Well, they go very well. I think I made them into an outfit. Do they go? I think they go with this. I'll have to try them both on again. I think they go with that. And they definitely go with the buy of the year. In Sloan Square, do you remember the pre... No, charity shop. Gorgeous with that. So that's an outfit. Chat, so let's put that as an outfit. Do you like this outfit idea? Right, this top. Now, you all love it. But as soon as I edited it, I thought, well, I don't need the belt. Um, I did try it on with something that's high-waisted and it looked much better. Let's put that out because I'm not thrilled with it, even though I loved it at the time. I think it was the sparkle. Right, my right, Adidas one from Portland, Oregon. That is never going anywhere. Um, and, uh, and these two, I need to dress these up. Um, I don't need to... And I'm not sure which I like with what. So these are all not sure. Not sure. Need to try them on. Need lots of time. But meanwhile, let's hang them up there. Um, this is too big. But lovely for the summer. So I'll hang on to that. Whoops. See, there's an awful lot that one is not sure about this. I don't know why I bought it. It's another Zara. We're going to try that on with lots of things. Um, this one, you know, I love everything I got from Desi Guell. So why don't I just stick to shopping at Desi Guell? That I still love with denim, denim shorts. That one is vintage. I think you like that one. But I can't remember what it looks best with. Let's put that one out as a possible dump all right i got this ages ago i've not worn this well a it's too much like this one okay let me know which you prefer says so there's that one i'm going to try them on for you because we're nearly done i hope i haven't been going ages oh dear 20 minutes right this is going to have to be a vlog on its own because um, it would take forever to upload and I've got an exciting week ahead. So this is a vlog when I'm in a, when I'm away for the weekend and you've got something to watch. Okay, so this one, I've had a lot of comments on this on the plane um, and I got it in Lanzarote. I wish I was in Lanzarote. <gasps> Sorry, Jack. Um, or there's no need for both. So you get to vote. It's too big, isn't it? 
I'll know as soon as I edit. There won't be much editing, will there? Um, no, I think that's too big. I'm going to let that go unless I hear otherwise. Oh, God, this is going to be in a right state. This one I'm not sure about. I've had it for years and years and years. But it's very colourful. Um, this is ancient whistles, but I'm still wearing it. I mean, all of these I've worn. Actually, I don't think I've worn that in the last year. Right, we'll put that out as well. In two years. No, the rule is two years, isn't it? That one I have worn, but I don't wear it out. Is that you? What are you doing, little man? Not Hello? Hello? Do you want to come up here? Come on then. Come on then. Can you see? Come on. Here. Come on, darling. Here. There you go. He needs help. Can you see him? Where are you, Jack? There he is. Wants to be with his mummy. Sad little fellow, isn't it? It's very sad. He's not my dog that used to be. But I know you've all been through that. Anyway, not sure about this. But again, I always get huge compliments when I wear it. Not sure about that either. Again, I'm going to try that back to front. Um... Various t-shirts, don't need to see t-shirts. Now I've never worn this white shirt, but I think this would be spectacular in the summer when I've got the right pants. See, these are more, these are more beigey. I've tried it with those, they don't really go. Maybe white and black, except people think I'm the waitress in restaurants. Oh, another t-shirt. So I'm getting the, right, one last thing. I still hang on to this, so I got it. It's a, what's his name? <coughs> Excuse me, very expensive designer. Oh God, Lakeland, somebody Lakeland. Anyway, sometimes it just looks amazing. Might look great with that white shirt actually. Oh, can I try that on? Right, okay, we're going to have lots of dressing up over the next few weeks before I chuck, chuck, chuck. That could look really good, couldn't it? See, this is why it's worth going through your wardrobe and making things into outfits. And then you think, I don't need to buy anything else except, you know, maybe like I bought these black trousers, these very expensive black trousers. Well, they weren't that expensive. But I've now got a really good pair of trousers if I want to look smart for London. Um, you know, and you all seem to love me in black, even though I'm not supposed to wear black. So thank you. Um, you're a fantastic. I don't need a stylist because I've got you lot. So that's going to be tried on with everything. And... Um, another week well i'll show you what i've kept and show you what i've got rid of so i've got my black leather pleather leggings jeggings which i adore and never part with um black jeans paper bag jeans now that's worth trying on with everything that i'm not sure about isn't it because they are fabulous you can tuck in let's put sparkly there i haven't tried it on with sparkly okay good we're getting somewhere um black jeggings je ordinary jeans ordinary jeans i think i need some new very trendy jeans um okay that's it what do you think folks i think this could be an entire vlog and on the next vlog i will show you what i kept what i gave to charity and what I sold. How's that? There are two coats missing um, because I haven't worn them once in the last two years. So I think, you know, two years is a good rule. Have I used it in the last two years? No. Do I look fabulous in it? Most of the time, 
No. So when I do, I put it into outfits. I think that's the one thing where social media helps. People will either love it and comment like mad or ignore you. Actually, I didn't get a lot of love on Instagram with that retro top. Not views-wise, oh, who cares? As long as you lot, my proper audience, love it, that's all that matters. Um, it's like that property programme, isn't it? Love it or list it. Well, I still love these, I think, but I might list them. Who knows? Right, I'm going to go and put these all away now. Love from Jack. And if this is the end of the vlog, excuse me not wearing any makeup, but I'm about to have a self-care Sunday. Face packs, washing hair, walking dog, not necessarily in that order. So bye for now and thank you for watching and please let me know what you think. Mwah. I will put makeup on one day.